T minus 16 seconds, guidance internal. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. Shepard has cleared the tower and is heading to space. Godspeed, Titanium Feather. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see that we are gaining speed as New Shepard gains altitude. We started at about 3,700 feet above median sea level, and that's where Launch Site 1 is located. There we've got a great shot of the BE-3 and, of course, of the booster looking down at West Texas. We've hit our next milestone, max Q, the point where aerodynamic stress on the vehicle is at its maximum, and that BE-3 engine gets to flex its muscles, throttling down to reduce those stresses. Our next milestone will be main engine cutoff, but in the meantime, the BE-3 is back to 110,000 pounds of thrust, powering New Shepard and its crew to space. And it looks to have been a successful main engine cutoff with the vehicle traveling at more than 2,000 miles per hour and 200,000 feet of altitude. Our next milestone will be separation of the crew capsule and the booster for zero G. Capcom will momentarily cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses after separation and we'll be listening in. In the meantime, Sarah, Vanessa, Kobe, Mario, Clint, and Steve, welcome to space. Sounds like they're having fun up there. We gotta thank you, Laura, our Capcom. Now we've just received. Wow. Look at the blackness. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, my. We're above the earth. Oh, my God. That's you upside down. Oh. See the curvature in the air. Take it in. Take it in. 
One minute warning. One minute warning. Guys, will you pray? Or you will be in trouble. If you can't remember. And you can't. Everybody back to their seats. <laughs> Congratulations to. Congratulations to all six crew of the Titanium Feather. They just officially became astronauts with an apogee well over 100 kilometers, the internationally recognized boundary line of space. Both the crew capsule and booster are now descending. We saw the forward fins deploy there in the shot on your left as that rocket is now reaching its atmospheric pierce point, returning from space and entering the atmosphere. Those control surfaces that raise the center of pressure on the vehicle now have a little bit of air pressure to push against. That's the ring fin and the forward fin, and the booster will be reaching its maximum reentry velocity here just under Mach 4. Starting to slow down here now, the wedge fins, the steering fins, and the ring fin all working together, earning their keep to guide this booster home. And there's that passive downward stability with the center of mass and center of pressure having inverted relationships now. Great close-up of the BE3 engine. There it is, engine ignition, engine relay coming in for a landing. Booster touchdown, welcome back to Earth, New Shepard. For a lot of us at Blue, this moment in flight is one of our proudest moments, really showcasing what the BE3 engine and the New Shepard booster are capable of. Really just incredible engineering. No matter how many times we've seen this happen, it just never gets old. It's a live booster landing, nice and softly onto that landing pad. You can't help but want for this to happen. Of course, we see there at the bottom of the BE3 engine, we're venting any excess propellants. Uh, this is a key step in the reusability of this booster. We'll be able to purge with inert fluids and keep this booster clean. There, we've got a great shot of the crew capsule coming back down again. It's gumdrop shape, a little slower to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. We should have the drogues here shortly. There they are. Drogue shoots are out. I count three. And those drug chutes have now pulled out the main chutes that will begin to fill with atmosphere to further stabilize the booster. If you're just joining us, this is our sixth human flight. The booster has landed, and our crew, Titanium Feather, is on its way back to Earth. Nothing quite like living in the moment. What a beautiful shot there of the booster and the crew capsule looks to be maybe a little south or southwest of the landing pad and of course that great West Texas backdrop.
So as we come in here softly for a landing, those landing systems will engage, measuring the height above the ground to fire that innovative retro thrust system that kicks up the dust but makes for a very soft landing. Touchdown, Titanium Feather. Welcome back to Earth. And what a shot of Victoria Canyon, the Sierra Diablos, and our West Texas desert kicking up that poof of dust. I bet they're excited in there. They sounded excited. So now our team is preparing landing safety operations and recovery of our astronauts from the crew capsule. And we'll be watching on the drone shots as they head out that way. If you're just joining us for the sixth human flight, we've just had a successful flight. There's a shot of the capsule, the booster. It's been an exciting day for this crew that's named themselves the Titanium Feather. And the crew of NS-22 has landed safely awaiting the CC Recoveries team in arrival. If we look closely through those very large windows, we should see some thumbs up, some clapping. But in the meantime, Victor Correa Hispania was in that crew capsule on our last launch, NS-21, becoming the second Brazilian ever to fly to space.